Hi everyone, this is Kasia. I'm feeling our tea and today we're going to draw this cute pilgrim man, a really pilgrim boy. If you enjoy drawing with me, make sure you subscribe down below. To complete this project, you will need a piece of paper and a pencil and then something to color with. I'm going to use markers. We will begin by drawing a circle. The circle will be our pilgrim's head. As always, you can wing this part like I'm doing, or you can use something round and trace it to have a perfect circle. Once you have your circle, we're going to divide it halfway going up and down and halfway going from side to side. Make sure you draw these lines lightly because we'll erase them later. We're also going to divide the bottom half of our circle in three equal parts, one, two, three. And on this top part, we're going to draw the eyes. To draw our boy's eyes, we're going to draw circles. Draw them in between the two lines. So they're pretty big eyes. I'm going to extend this line a little bit for the top eyelid. And inside the eye, I'm going to draw another circle for the pupil and a small circle for the light speckle. And same thing on the other side. So circle for the eye and don't worry if you don't get your circles perfect the first try like I didn't we can always correct ourselves that's why we use pencils second circle inside and a third one for the light speckle we're gonna draw his eyebrows so above this eyelid we're gonna draw another arch and thicken it up some we're gonna do that on both sides On this line, we're going to draw his nose, so two dots for the nose. And I'm going to give him a crooked smile, so somewhere right around this line, and half smile. His ears will go here, so halfway on this line, down. So D-like shape and C-like shape, one on each side. He is going to wear a collar, so um, a V upside down V like shape, and then connect it with straight lines down. Pretty big collar. And then I'm gonna draw his shoulders, and they're gonna be pretty small, just like so. Now, I'm also going to draw his hair and a hat. So for the hat, I'm going to draw a line across his forehead like this. So it's almost straight, but it curves a little bit. Now, this line will go towards his head on both sides, so almost like a trapezoid. And right above his head, it's going to connect. And again, this is gonna be a little curved. Now from here up, we will draw a hat that is like a trapezoid again. So these two go towards each other and a little curve up top. On this part, we will draw a big buckle. To, to do that, I'm going to draw a rectangle Inside my rectangle, I'm going to draw a second rectangle, but on one side of it, I will draw a piece like this for the buckle. And then I can do two lines here for the belt that goes around. His hair is going to come from this side and go on his forehead, cover some of his eyebrow, Come up, go down again, come up, go down again, and go on the side of his head and behind his ear a little bit. On the other side also on the side of his head, behind his ear a little bit. Then another piece right here in the front, it was going to go under the head, 
and then we're going to draw a small piece of hair here now we can also the last thing is go from this side connect behind the head and same thing on the other side so my sketch is done i'm going to switch to a liner right now which is a thin marker i'm going to go over all of my pencil lines and i'm going to pay attention to pick the best lines once i finished with the liner i'm going to switch to my eraser and I'm going to erase all of the pencil lines that I no longer need and finally I'm going to get my markers and I'm going to color my picture I'll be using markers however you can use colored pencils you can use crayons paint pretty much anything um, the same with this you don't need a liner you can do this with a crayon color pencil you can use a sharpie there's a lot of different things you can use. Okay, my program man is done, or really boy. Make sure you sign and date your drawing. Give me thumbs up and come back to see me soon.